Everybody, 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 everybody. Oh my gosh, let's give a hand to all those beautiful Dudley girls we just saw. Woo! D E S I. I assume that's how you spell Desi girl. And they were so amazing. You all look so amazing tonight. Give yourselves a round of applause. Do it, do it. It's important that we do that for each other. You know what? You should just, just because you're an average person walking out on the street, doesn't mean you're gonna just stop for somebody and just just clap, 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 clap. That's an unexpected joy. It happens to me all the time, actually. Uh, I know what you're all thinking. You're like, oh my gosh, look at that eyes, mouth, hair, wheelchair. That is an inspirational human being. And uh, I'm gonna say it, you're right. Give yourselves an applause for being right. I am an inspirational human being. Do it, do it, yeah. And I also know there's like 20% of you that are like, oh my god, please, please, please be funny, please. Because if you're not funny, then I'm going to feel guilty. And then if I feel guilty, I'm going to have to go to therapy. And if I go to therapy, I'm going to have to find a new insurance plan. And blah, 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 Obama. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be all right. We're going to get through this together. You and me and my wheelchair. What's your first name? Ah. Your first name? My first name yes. is Megan, Hello, my Megan. middle name is Rose, and my last name is Gallagher. So give it up for Megan Rose Gallagher, Megan. everybody. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, if I had to compare myself to anything, I think I live a very, like, Disney villain-ass type lifestyle. I live by the sea in a very tall tower, um, but it's like a Maleficent style, like, hot like villainous. I keep my love life private. I don't have horns, but I have something way sexier, which is a spinal cord injury. Give it up for spinal cord injuries, everybody. No? No? Only me? All right. All right, there. I'm killing you over there. But, um, you know, life is good. I don't have to do, like, anything, guys. Like, this is really working out for this girl here. Like, I don't have to cook for myself. I don't have to clean for myself. And I can literally get out of doing anything I am expected to do. Yeah, that's right. Give it up for excuses, everybody. You know, dog ate my homework. Nobody believes that. But if you're in a wheelchair, you just be like, ugh, I'm feeling a little ugh. And everybody assumes, like, oh my god, you're going to die. And I love it. Because I get out of a lot of social engagements that way. There's nothing like that. Um, now... I don't want to start any beef with anybody, any, like, major celebrities that are, like, in competition with me. However, last week, um, Stephen Hawking says that he wanted to be, like, the next James Bond villain. And I'm like, uh, I already have a wheelchair. I, too, have a sexy voice. And, uh, <laughs> I also have a white cat that sits on my lap whilst I um, ruminate on any sort of evil plans I might have or when I'm working on my vision board. Because even though you're a villain doesn't mean you can't have dreams, am I right? You gotta have dreams. If you don't have dreams, you don't have anything. But, um, thank you. Thank you. You can let that go. Let that applause go. I, I would agree. Um, but yeah, I'm totally like a Disney villainess, so all I'm saying is don't leave me near your puppies because I might, um, make a coat out of them. <laughs> I would totally do that. Um, 
But uh, did anybody see the Peter Pan the other night? Did anybody see Peter Pan? Yeah. I cleared my schedule to watch Peter Pan. And the, the, I mean, I'm sure I'm probably not the only one saying this, but the Lost Boys were a little older than what I expected to be. Like, way older. Like, they were totally lost men. Like, they were, um, they were hiding from uh, student debt and um, uh, taking showers on a regular basis, which is a problem with men in their late 20s. Sometimes you have to have conversations. You never know. You know what I'm talking about, girl. Exactly. So, um, my most, uh, the part that disturbed me the most was the, these old men that were asking, like, Wendy, I mean, they're not old. They're not old. But, but compared to being a child as opposed to a 35-year-old that was just, you know, kicked out of Newsies on Broadway, there's a, a certain expectation there, and it's just got really disturbing with the whole, like, oh, mummy, um, oh, Wendy, you can be our mummy, you can be our new mummy. It's like that, Wendy's like a child. And then later on, like, Peter comes back and he talks to Win uh, to Minnie Driver when she's windy. And she's like, I'm sorry, Peter. I'm too old. I've outgrown you. But here, take my daughter to Never Neverland, the Isle of Lost Boys, or like Oz, basically. Just grown men just screwing around with each other. But, I mean... I did love the Tinkerbell fairy dust part. That's the part that always gets me. I mean, I find that really inspirational, which is saying a lot because I'm a really inspirational person. So I don't take that lightly. But I really, you know, and it's not just me saying I'm inspirational. I mean, it's like whenever I go anywhere, I mean, it's very hard to get anything done when you're trying to buy like a box of wine, a box of condoms, and somebody's like, you are so inspiring. And you're like, thank you. Can you like... The Magnums up there. That's right. That's right. There. Those are the ones I get, by the way. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Are you on MySpace, by chance? <laughs> Hit me up, y'all. Hit me up. Don't hold back. You got the whole Kojak thing going on? Kojak. It's real. You know who loves you, baby? Kojak. <laughs> But the biggest problem with me being called inspirational is that it makes me think of everybody that's ever been called inspirational, like like John F. Kennedy or Martin Luther King Jr. or like Salinas. You remember her? Bitty bitty bamba. Bitty 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 bamba. You gotta do your Salinas research, your Tahana singers. You need to. Oh my gosh, let me just tell you. All of those inspirational had one all of those inspirational people had one thing in common and that was getting shot to death. So if that is what it means to be inspirational, uh, I am opting out of being inspirational. I am totally fine with just being an average, just amazingly beautiful, amazingly talented woman in a wheelchair. Just don't call me an inspiration because I might just uh, I might just murder you. Or not. Anyways, I'm Megan Gallagher, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>